Hi, this is Joshua coming to you from uh, here in Mission, British Columbia. I've been away uh, from uh, uploading Joe Pipe vids for this past year. Uh, last year I, I did uh, make a few uh, prototypes of the Joe Pipe gasifier fuel processor. And uh, last week uh, I went and picked up the uh, the metal, fabricated it, and uh, took it down to have it welded up. So it's uh, pretty well ready to go. I, ha I have not fired it up at this time. And as you see, I'm putting on the uh, a quartz pipe on the end. And uh, just give you a, a quick rundown. Uh, the air uh, goes up here and it's supposed to be superheated, except I had the nipple on the wrong side. Uh, but <clears throat> the air should go up to here once I have the other nipple on. It will go down wind of the jaw pipe and enter into a series of uh, four holes here, uh, just in front of the swirl device. Uh, the back is the same. I don't know if you can see or not. This is where the uh, propane goes in. And the swirl device is actually in this part here. It's hard to maneuver this thing sometimes. I kind of kept the fan away from the uh, pipe just in case something happens. Don't, don't want to wreck my fan. So my setup is all the same. Uh, we'll be doing modifications on the uh, on the back here, I want to bolt the large plexiglass shield where I can mount the uh, uh, fan control and the shutoff valve for the propane. And I'll probably install a, uh, a kill switch here that I'm using. So everything is the same. So what I'm going to do now is break down uh, the Joe pipe. I'm going to take it apart and we'll start with the end. The quartz pipe is to condense the flame. We'll just set her aside there. And uh, this little stem here, I hope you can see it, uh, this goes into the second pipe. This is the third pipe on the outside where the air goes in and preheats. And this pipe goes into the second pipe and that's where you, you uh, inject your gasoline, your diesel, kerosene, alcohol, water, or a mixture where it goes up between the first, first concentric gap, vaporizes to 2,000 degrees uh, like superheated steam, then goes in through a series of holes into this pipe to come out here to produce a highly efficient, clean burning flame. Okay, we'll take this guy off. So I'm just doing a breakdown, the next test. We'll be firing it up. Back part is off. And uh, I just need to get a piece of wire so I can pull out the swirl device. I'm using inch and a quarter black pipe for the Joe pipe itself. This is the swirl device left over from uh, previous tests, and it's basically soapstone that's been cored out and, and wrapped with uh, stainless steel, 19 gauge stainless steel wire. Okay, we'll undo this guy here. I need some form of quick release on this. Just a few more modifications to do on it. I've already advanced the uh, the third generation gasifier and upgraded it to where it can actually crack smoke but it's going to have to be for another time. I, I, I can do it uh, in order to do that on this pipe I would have to uh, modify the uh, inside that means having to cut the wells and all that so maybe I'll just make another prototype I have 
have uh, metal to metal fittings here where the air in the inside pipe assembly connects. I should be using a copper plate or maybe some asbestos sheeting. some point. Okay, there we have it. It's all get it out. Now we'll pull out the core. I'm going to come around on that side and show you the apparatus. I have the uh, power hooked up to the battery right now. So I'm going to just zoom in. We're into five minutes. So you can see the uh, the air uh, tube that actually becomes the holder for the Joe pipe and uh, I have it going down through a series of uh, black nipple fittings and that and that's the fan that I've used in previous testings. And I'll come back and show you the, the inside that makes it work. Okay, this is where your air goes in here. You can see the, the holes, right? This is the vapor injection tube for your various materials. And but one mistake I found is that uh, between this pipe and this pipe, it's uh, I need to increase the gap or go to a larger pipe so that I can tap and thread this right now I just have to pressure fit it like that and uh, there's is going to be some loss of gases coming out but the air will chase it back in and this part here uh, when I actually correct the, the air injection having the air come in here the air would come on the outside of this flow over this uh, spin device and, it, and be injected in just back behind the swirl device and uh, so when, <clears throat> when it actually comes time to test various fuels, alcohols, water, hydrogen, different things like that you, you can inject it in here which goes into the gap uh, superheats to 2000 degrees and in the center pipe you can't see it, this pipe here, I have a series of about eight holes, eighth inch holes, that injects the gas into the, the bore of the Joe pipe. So that's about it. Uh, this is third generation Joe pipe uh, gasifier. Uh, it's, <clears throat> it's taken about seven years and about a few thousand hours of research and development to uh, come to this point. But it should prove very in interesting that we're soon going to see here. Make sure the holes up to the top. There we go. I have not fired this up yet. Just gonna stud these in, and then I'll come to a second vid. So this will uh, be a series of testing using the Joe Pipe gasifier fuel processor, and uh, the reason why that name is that it processes the fuel, any liquid fuels, into a superheated state like superheated steam into a dry fuel vapor to be used, used as a as a fuel. I'll also put these on, got a few minutes. And to improve the efficiency, at some point I like to wrap the outside of the, the air tube with